Hi everybody! Today I'm finally going to be reviewing this Gold Brocade Custom Fit Aziza Overbust Corset with the shoulder straps made by Dark Garden. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. This corset was completely custom made for me and this past summer I walked you through the bespoke process where I started with measuring myself, I tried on several mock-ups and it finally resulted in this final piece. So if you want to take a look at that video I'll link it in the screen and for those on mobile I'll also link it down on uh, the description below. So I'm not going to go over the details of the measurements since it is obviously made for me and uh, when I was being fitted for the mock-up Autumn had noticed that I had some asymmetries. You know it, it was tugging a bit on the bottom edge here. Uh, I also one, have one breast that's a little bit fuller than the other one. I have one shoulder that sits slightly higher than the other as well and she made accommodations for these things. Another thing that you might notice is that the length of the waist to the top measurement is much much longer in this custom corset than it would be in any off the rack uh, overbust corset that I would be reviewing. So you can see it comes very high up into the uh, underarm region and this is deliberate because I have a lot of squid along the side and along the back here. You can also see that um, the back is quite high as well. When it started, it was probably uh, a good one or two inches lower than this and it wasn't allowing me to properly, you know, tuck my wing bones, tuck my shoulder blades uh, into the corset. So I felt very hunched all the time. In this corset, I feel a lot less hunched. The length of the shoulder straps were also adjusted custom to me, and you can see that there are two uh, grommets here. I'll go into the details of the corset later, obviously, but you can see that there are two grommets here, and right now I'm wearing a little bit looser, and I can actually you know, angle these straps to be a little bit uh, off the shoulder if I want to. They're not going to always fall down because of the way that they're sewn and uh, secured in the back here. But I can wear it off the shoulder if I like, or I can tighten this up and wear it very tight over my shoulders. Uh, but I prefer to have a little bit more movement with my arms. And when I turn to the quarter profile, I really love the way that the, the corset curves over my bust area and you know it the the neckline is relatively high compared to um, many other uh, overbust corsets so I feel like I'm never going to spill out of this corset I feel very safe and secure in it but I also feel that I'm not being completely crushed in the chest area it's just nicely supporting the area whenever I wear this corset it makes it really apparent that my body squishes upwards because you can see that the hips are they actually look relatively narrow compared to the the rib cage and the bust area of of this corset. So uh, all of my fat and flesh is being squidged in the upward direction, which is why uh, they drafted some extra space for me uh, in the back area and, and through the rib cage here. Uh, whereas the the hip measurement pretty much measures true to my uh, normal natural hip measurement. So there wasn't any extra accommodation necessary at the lower edge of this corset because I'm not distributing flesh downwards. Pattern-wise, you can see that the, the panels are converging down into this V-shape, so the bones are coming down and supporting the lower tummy area. So when I turn to the profile here, you can see that uh, the profile, my front is very flat. Um, and if you were to commission this yourself and get a, a custom-made Aziza yourself, then you'd be able to control how high the neckline comes, or if you want to show a little bit more, you can uh, have it you know, drafted a little bit lower. Uh, same with the bottom here, if you're concerned about any sort of lower tummy pooch, you can have it drafted a little bit lower. Or if you don't like the, the point at the bottom here, you can have it drafted a bit higher. Here's the corset laid flat, and for the materials, for the fashion fabric, I chose this really beautiful um, floral brocade in this gold finish. Originally, I sort of wanted something purple, but um, they didn't have enough of the type I wanted in stock, so I just decided to go with the gold, and it ended up going really nicely with my complexion anyway, so I'm really happy with my final decision. And then the liner inside here, uh, this is a strength fabric. This is a, a, a cotton sort of canvas weave, not including the shoulder straps, this corset has a six panel pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. So most of the bust curve is between uh, panels one and two here, and most of the hip curve is between panels uh, three and four right there. And you can see at the very um, back here, a lot of the ease in the back is five and six right there. And then for the shoulder straps, uh, this is all one piece here. 
It appears that the fashion fabric and the lining were treated as one. They were sort of flat lined together and then the panels were assembled together. Uh, I can see here there is a bit of a top stitch in between the panels and uh, then external boning channels were laid down over the seam allowances and uh, you can see that is double boned on the seams there. You may be able to see the outline of the waist tape. It looks to be three quarters of an inch wide. It's invisibly stitched, so it's between the layers here. And it starts uh, right here between panels one and two, and it goes right back to the, the grommets right there. Here is a close-up of the binding made in uh, bias strips of matching gold brocade, machine stitched on the outside and the inside here. So you can see that on the inside, it seems that uh, the inside is where they started and then they folded it to the outside and left a very tidy top stitch. And this corset comes with a stiffened and separate modesty panel here. So this is uh, four and three quarter inches wide and uh, you can choose to wear it or not wear it if you don't want to. Uh, and it is made to match the length of the back of the corset here. So this has four bones in it, um, two going lengthwise and another two making an X in the center. It's finished with the brocade on the outside, the matching brocade and the same lining on the inside. And it's finished off with um, the binding on the top and bottom edges. And there is no real protruding um, modesty placket per se in the front, but the busk is just very, very slightly recessed, maybe about an eighth of an inch, if that, so that when you put the busk together, uh, that is sufficient so that uh, your skin or your shirt underneath is not poking through. The busk they used in my corset is 14 inches long and it has seven loops and pins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all equidistantly spaced. It is a standard flexible busk, half an inch on each side. And then additionally, there is another half inch wide flat steel bone adjacent to the busk on either side. But this one uh, starts at the bottom and goes only up to about there. So it leaves um, this area here. It leaves some room for a fuller bust. In your corset, if you have a bit of a shorter torso, then they would use a shorter busk, of course. And if you were taller than me or had a longer torso, then they might use a longer busk for you. And there are a total of 26 bones in this corset, 13 on each side. Like I said before, it's double boned on the seams here with quarter inch wide uh, steel bones here. It does uh, attract the magnet. And in the back here, uh, of course, there are two uh, flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets here. One thing that I noticed about it is that it's, it's slightly less than um, uh, half an inch wide. Actually, it might be even a quarter inch wide flat steel bones. So they're very, very flexible. But the way that uh, this corset is laced in the back, it prevents any uh, popping out or bowing in the back there, which I uh, mentioned in another video that I'll link at the end. And then, like I said before, uh, adjacent to the busk is another half inch wide uh, flat steel bone. There are a total of 42 grommets in the back of this corset, so 21 pairs. They are size double zero and uh, finished in gold. They have a medium flange around them. Uh, they're equidistantly set apart, uh, about one inch apart, and they are all, all holding in very nicely. So here is the underside of the grommets. You can see how they've all rolled really nicely. Couple of splits here and there, but they don't seem to catch on the laces. So they, it's more of an aesthetic thing. It's not really a functional issue. Uh, and you can see that they're all holding in very nicely here. I don't see any damage or uh, fraying of the fabric around the grommets. I don't see any washers that are loose or wobbly, so it's good. And the laces that they chose for this corset, both at the back and also uh, for the little adjustable ties here for the shoulder straps, is this, uh, it looks to be 3 eighths of an inch wide. So it's a little bit uh, more narrow than some ribbons that I'm used to, but it's double face satin ribbon, very strong, no stretch to it. Uh, they don't catch on the grommets like I mentioned before. Uh, and they hold the bow very well. They have a nice low profile if I wanted to wear this under clothing, although this is obviously a corset meant for showing off. Uh, so they, they function very well. The price of the custom Aziza Overbust starts at $975 US, or if you want it with the shoulder straps, this starts at $995 US. And this concludes my review of the custom Aziza Overbust corset made by Dark Garden. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about uh, this corset in particular, Dark Garden in general, or my experience with the bespoke process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to get back to you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.